Okay. Want someone on the skull too? Moving on to the sphenoid bone, which is the red bone that connects also to the maxilla bone, as seen here in the skull, this part. It is described as a butterfly-like and type of bone. Here we have a not colored bone. We'll start with the sphenoid sinus, which can be found between these two hollow foramen or holes. Next, we're moving to a posterior view to locate the greater and lesser wings. The greater wings, two, one on each side, inferior to the lesser wings. Next, we're going to a anterior view and locating the pterygoid process, which are these two column-shaped bones. Next, going to a superior view, Locating the foramen ovale, which are these two holes, of which their function is to pass the mandibular bone, mandibular nerve. Now going to the foramen rotundum, which is this hole here. We're going from an anterior view. Also, this hole. That function is to pass the maxillary nerve. Going to the posterior view. This bone here is the cella turcica and is a cavity for the pituitary gland. Going into the superior view, we are locating the superior orbital fissure, which houses the ophthalmic nerve, which should be these two large orbits, which is also where the eye orbit is. And lastly, the optic foramen or optic canal, which are these two. The holes are for aiming, and they pass optic nerves through the bone.